What's up, gang? Sean Burton here. Boy, has it been a long time since we've seen each other. Feels like forever, uh, way too long, but super excited uh, today to announce uh, that we're restarting Fit 619 workouts. Uh, we made a, a very uh, intentional decision in the, in the winter of last year to put a pause on the workouts just because it was nasty and cold outside with the intentions of restarting the workouts in spring. Spring is here. I know it doesn't feel like it. I'm looking outside right now. It's rainy uh, in the mid-50s, but spring is officially here. And so as a result, we're back uh, to fitness. Now, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to announce the first workout here in a second. It's right behind me. But before I do that, let me provide a little bit of a refresher on what this ministry is. This is a ministry that is, that is organized by and run out of uh, the Montford Heights United Methodist Church right here in Montford Heights. Uh, it's a very simple ministry. It is a ministry that combines faith and fitness. Uh, and despite the simplicity of the, of, the, uh, of the ministry, what we learned in 2021, which was the inaugural year for the ministry, is that uh, it's a powerful, transformative opportunity to, to live out your faith, in this case, through fitness. So, with that refresher, let me, let me um, uh, walk you through the workout. Before I do, I want to let you know the workout is a very challenging one. Uh, it's physically challenging, and uh, the movements in many cases are challenging. But as always is the case with our workouts, they are infinitely modifiable, uh, meaning we can modify them in countless ways to meet you where you're at. We want these workouts to be challenging for you, for me, for the next person based on where all of us are at in our fitness journey. So the workout while it be similar in nature, it's going to look different for every person depending on where they're, where they're at. We want you to leave the workout uh, physically challenged, a little exhausted, uh, but not in too much pain. And so we'll walk through some of those uh, potential modifications here in just a second. So this workout is my, maybe my second favorite workout. It is a workout that I've done six times now, it's my seventh year. Uh, and it's a, it is a workout that is done across uh, the world, uh, typically on Good Friday, and it's called the Passion Workout. And the workout uh, was designed and is performed to uh, honor the, the uh, crucifixion and, and ultimate resurrection of Jesus Christ. And you'll see how the workout is structured uh, because it's designed to represent uh, uh, the, his sacrifice. For us. So there are three movements in this workout, uh, and I'm going to walk through each one of them, and then I'm going to walk through some potential modifications to each movement. So the way that the workout is, uh, is structured, three movements, and you will complete the designated number of reps for each movement before moving to the next movement. So movement one is 100 double unders. That is a concept that I don't think we've talked about or done in some of our previous workouts. It's a fancy term for uh, jump roping. Uh, and the only difference is, unlike when we were in grade school when the rope would pass one revolution below your feet before you landed and jump back up, double unders are uh, the rope passes twice below your feet before you land and spring back up. Again, very complicated movement. We'll talk about some options to modify it. The second movement, once you get through your 100 double unders or your modified version of your double unders, is an 800 meter barbell carry on the back. Um, that is also very challenging, even when the barbell is, has no additional weight on it. Uh, so even weightless, that is a very challenging um, uh, movement, uh, especially if you're doing it for half a mile. So we'll walk through some of the, some of the options there. Third and final movement, probably everybody's favorite movement. Uh, I'm saying that first, I can't, I don't know if you can tell the sarcasm in my voice, but that is a sarcastic voice. 100 burpees is the, is the final movement. Um, also extremely challenging. Uh, so I, I wanna make sure that you're not intimidated by the workout, and so there I'm gonna go through some of the modifications uh, that I have bouncing through my mind. I won't go through all of them, all the possibilities, because I will be there early before the workout, Make you stay tuned until the end, so I'll tell you where it's at by the time it starts. Uh, but, but I will be there to, to, to talk to you and walk you through 
the possibilities, but I'll share a couple of uh, options today. So for the double unders, instead of doing the, the 100 double unders, you can instead do just 100 single unders. So just like you did in grade school, you can do good old fashioned jump ropes. It'll still be challenging, uh, but not as complex. If you don't want to jump rope, or you can't jump rope, you haven't jump roped in a while, uh, you can do lateral jumps. So we can create an imaginary line and you can jump from one spot to the next. You just do 100 of those. You can do 200 of those. You can do 50 of those. Uh, so that's an option with the double lunge. The barbell carry. Carry anything you want. We can, we're going to have a bunch of plates there. We're going to have medicine balls of all, uh, a bunch of different weights. So you can carry a medicine ball. Uh, we're going to have some PVC pipes. So you can carry the PVC pipe on your back for the 800 meters. For the burpees, a bunch of options here. You can do push-ups, you can do 100 push-ups, you can do 100 jumping jacks, you can do 100 air squats. Uh, plenty of options with the burpees. Like you've done in the past, you can also bring a partner. I want you to bring a partner. And you can split the workout up in any way you want. You can, you can do 50 each of the first movement. You can uh, split up the, the barbell carry. One person can, can walk weightless for, a, for 400 meters while the other one carries a, a weight, and then you switch off. 100 burpees, you can split the burpees up to 50 50. Heck, you can even bring two friends and split these up uh, accordingly. So, plenty of ways to modify it. Um, so, just a, a point about the, the movements and, and, and specifically how they kind of weave into the theme of the workout. So, the double unders. Uh, and the jump roping uh, is intended to represent the lashings that Jesus suffered prior uh, to carrying the cross. Uh, not surprisingly, the barbell carry is intended to, to represent Jesus carrying uh, the cross. And in 100 burpees, my favorite movement in this workout is, is um, symbolizes Jesus, uh, his resurrection and rising from the dead. Um, so pretty cool workout. I'm very excited about it. We're going to be throwing down for this workout this coming Friday, Good Friday, 3.30 in the Montford Heights United Methodist Church's parking lot. Uh, as of today, uh, it is going to be 65 and sunny. Uh, so I'm, I'm hoping and praying that it stays that temperature because uh, that'll be a, an awesome experience if it's that warm. If it's not that warm, we'll still have a good time. Uh, and then afterwards, uh, we will do some fellowship, uh, hang out around the church, but then we'll... Um, uh, like to go to a local watering hole to continue the fellowship. Really hope you can, you can join us. We'd love to see you there.